Hello, art students. Today we're going to be drawing an animal that you can find in the Minnesota woods. We're going to be drawing a timber wolf. All right, pretty cool. It's a really interesting animal to be drawing, so I hope that you're motivated to stick to it. Follow step by step, and let's see how great of a job you can do. The wolf. All right, pretty excited. So I think what we'll do here <clears throat> is over here, we'll do the head, and then we'll kind of come down this way with the body. And then we'll, once we come around the back side of the wolf, we'll have the tail come out down here. And then I envision that we'll have like a foot over here We'll have a foot come down right here, and then we'll probably have like two other legs and feet coming over here. And yeah, so it'll be kind of like a sideways view of a wolf. So let's begin. I'm gonna draw using a black Sharpie permanent marker. I'd recommend that you draw with a pencil and hopefully you have an eraser that you can use. Um, in case you make a mistake. Uh, we'll go one step at a time and just do the best job that you can do, okay? Here we go. The wolves. All right, so I'm gonna start over here and we're gonna start at the top of the head. And we're gonna shape the ears carefully. Uh, the wolf's ears are rounded off gently. They're not sharp. Okay, they're rounded off very subtly at the tips. That's very important to know. Okay, <clears throat> then we're going to go inside the ears and we're going to do some details here. here to this ear now. All right, awesome. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape down this part of the ear here and this part of the ear over here. Watch how I do it. Starting right about here, we're gonna come down and we're gonna come this way at a slant. Over here, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna come down at a slant, okay? And you can connect to where that happens there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create just about where the mask is gonna start on the wolf. The mask is kind of where their pattern begins, or the color of their fur changes. So right here, right about here on their forehead, it starts to separate a little bit, right about here, okay? And then what we want to do then is we'll do an eyeball right here. And they don't have big eyes, they have really small eyes. Let's go ahead and put the center of their eye in right there. And then we'll do the same thing over here with this eye. distinctive with the wolf is right at the tip of these eyes here they have a dark pattern that usually happens and it kind of comes down and over same with over here okay then let's see here let's go in there and let's do some 
for details. Lots of little pieces of fur that can go spaced apart. If you put them too close together, it'll make your wolf look too dark. And I'm not drawing a line here. I'm creating a line with my fur. Just going in there, doing some texture with some fur. Careful not to get too close to the eyes. Again, you don't want your fur too close together, otherwise it'll make your wolf look very dark. Notice that the direction of the fur changes. You gotta kind of shape the fur to the shape of the actual head, I guess. <clears throat> then, right about here, kind of where the snout is going to be coming down, there's going to be some texture lines happening here. Be very gentle, be very careful. You want to do straight, medium lines. You know, I think this texture, it kind of even reminds me of like, almost like a tree bark. Doesn't it? This is to shape the snout. And then down here at the bottom of, right about this, about that far, that's where we're gonna start doing the nose. Okay, so to do the nose, we're gonna go like a oval shape, like so. And then we're gonna create like a highlight. Go ahead and shade that in. Wolves definitely have a dark nose. And I think our wolf has been trotting around in the woods in the dark at night, probably working up a little bit of some heat, so we're gonna stick out that tongue. <laughs> Let's stick out a little tongue. Don't forget your line in there. Okay, <clears throat> so right where the tongue is and right where the nose is and where they kind of meet together, that's where we're going to draw the separation of our wolf's mouth, okay? Watch carefully how this happens. Starting right where I said, we're going to carefully, we're going to come up, kind of at an angle. And right about here is where you want to start bending outwards going towards there I'm not gonna connect it okay I'm not connecting I'm gonna do the same thing over here to the other side to try to make it nice and symmetrical starting right here where the tongue and the t and the nose touch and we're gonna come up like this Notice how I'm starting to angle out a little bit. All right, great. Okay, now just below that, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of the neck. Okay, so starting right about here. Coming up. And right about here, I'm gonna switch over and I'm just gonna make texture marks. And I'm gonna do really carefully, I'm gonna draw the whiskers. I'm gonna go for it. Notice it's very quick, not too long now. You gotta be careful there. Okay. Maybe one more over here. There we go, that's good. Okay, and then you can go ahead in there and you can put some 
polka dots to show where the whiskers would come out of. Okay, looking good. Let's get some more texture details. <coughs> some more texture details in there. And then over here on this side, we're gonna create a similar line that forms the jaw. Starting at about the same area here as this one, coming over, right about there, and then we're going to follow up parallel, and we're going to run right into about here, okay? Right about there. And we're going to create some long texture lines right here of the fur. Okay, these are furry creatures. Cool, so we basically have done the head, um, but we can do a few more details right here alongside the eye, just to give some visual interest. Let's do some fur lines. Maybe a line coming down this way. And then over here, on the other opposite side, right about up here, We'll draw some light dotted lines coming down and around the eye. Let's draw uh, a line coming from the, the inside part of the eye right here. Let's draw a little line coming down this way. Same thing over here, draw a little line coming down that way. Kind of shapes the beginning of the snout, I think. This little line right here and this little line right here doing good so far if you've followed along this far okay we have a nice a nice wolf head here okay let's continue on to the next part um, I think I'm gonna work along the back down to the tail and then I think I'll work my way down the legs through the belly and come back up with my neck I think that's what I'm gonna do as my strategy here Actually, I think this is a great place to stop, and I'll see you in the next video. Good job so far.